Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamiko Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we are talking about the dreaded laundry and what my laundry routine looks like. Now, we're a very, very small family. It's just the three of us. I have one seven-year-old son, soon to be eight-year-old son in August, and we keep it pretty simplified. But there are certain and specific things, tricks and tips that I have for you for streamlining your laundry process and what that looks like in my life. So my laundry routine and how I sort my laundry and fold my laundry actually starts with my closet organization. So how I organize my closet plays a huge role in my laundry routine. So let me show you very quickly how my closet is laid out. So this is my closet and this is where we put all of our dirty laundry. It's where I put my clothes away. But what closet organization and why it's so important in my laundry routine is because essentially how I fold my laundry, which we'll be getting to a little bit later on, is all determined on what I like to call closet zones. So it may not look like it, but my closet, it has some zones going on. And when I was, you know, when we first moved into this house, I knew for the, well, for the first time in my life, I had a, a, a closet that could actually fit all my clothes. And I'm still in the process of downsizing and getting rid of clothes, but it's the first time in my life where I didn't have seasonal clothes that I had to go get from the garage, bring up my summer clothes, put away my winter clothes and go back and get my summer clothes when spring came around. Um, so I started with zones. So as you can see, like this side of my closet is in zones. I have long dresses, short dresses, nice shirts, kind of my, I like to call them bedtime shirts, they're just regular t-shirts, and my workout tank tops. Down below, I have my nice tank tops. Now, over on this side, you're gonna see all of my different drawers, and these are actually in zones. Right here is my workout clothes, over here are my shorts, and then of course we have Chris's stuff, so we have like his underwear and socks, his shorts and his pants are all in these. And inside each of those zones, my drawers are organized into different categories. So for example, if you look in this drawer here, it looks like just a bunch of leggings, right? But what it is, is these are all of my, what I call loungewear leggings, okay? So they're not made of special wick material, sweat resistant material. They're literally cotton, and these are the leggings that I lounge around the house in. And then, all of my black leggings. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest here and just come out and say it. 99% of the time, every single day, I'm in black leggings. I have, like I'm wearing right now, I live in black leggings. So even though this is kind of my legging workout zone, this specific drawer is where I keep all of my black leggings. So that's what I mean. There's zones and then there's organization within those zones. So let's talk about how I sort my dirty laundry. Now, the one thing that I do a lot differently than a lot of other people is I don't sort my dirty laundry based on, you know, dark, light, and white. I sort my dirty laundry based on how I wash it. So dirty laundry, because there's, I wash certain clothes differently depending on how I wear those clothes in my life. Now, I am very active, I'm a long distance runner, so I have clothes and workout clothes that get a little sweatier and grosser than my everyday wear clothes like I'm wearing now. Chris, my boyfriend, he's a UPS driver. And if you have a UPS driver in your life, you know how dirty their uniforms can get. So workout clothes and uniforms, they are washed differently than my everyday clothes. So come on over here. This is where and how we organize our laundry system. On the left is workout wear, Chris's uh, uniforms. In the middle is everyday wear clothes. And over on the right is all whites. 
So let's go ahead and talk about um, how I wash these different category, categories of clothes. So what I do, it was funny because my son kind of mentioned this to me a couple weeks ago. It's like kind of running a hotel. I literally just wheel this down because we have a fairly large hallway. Ouch. So we just wheel it down here. I wheel the whole thing and I butt it up here right against the wall. I do this because when my family sees this up against the wall here, they know I'm in the middle of doing laundry. So they don't come over here and try taking like, oh, this is clean and start wearing it. Oh, this is, you know, they know that if this laundry basket isn't in the closet, they need to come and put their dirty laundry here in here if it's up against the wall. So let's talk about very quickly, let's talk about whites. Now, a couple of tips with whites. I'm a huge believer of having all white towels in your home. One, they're beautiful. Okay, they make your bathroom look really beautiful, but they're very easy to clean. And for me, I found a system to keep these like new. And you can just throw all the towels in together because all your towels are gonna be white. So number one tip is make sure you wash all of your white clothes and towels together. Now, I do know some people who separate their clothes from their towels. I do them all together because I wash them all the same way. So with my whites, I'll show you over here, I have a very simple process for my whites. Now we're in my very small laundry room, but I have two containers over here. I have an Oxy Odor and Stain and I have an Oxy White Booster. I use the Oxy Odor and Stain for my workout clothes and Chris's uniforms that have a little harsher stains or a little stronger odor than most clothes. I use my Oxy White Booster for all of my whites. And I do one extra special things that really make your towels revive. I mean, it revives your towels and makes them look like new again. I have a simple glass spray uh, pump bottle with white vinegar. So I have the Samsung washer and dryer. I put my detergent in where the normal detergent thing is, but the white vinegar, when I do my whites, I put into the softener area of my washer. So I literally throw all the clothes in there. I take about, about three fourths of a scoop of white Oxy. I put it on top of the clothes. I fill with laundry detergent. And then I pump probably about five or six pumps if it's in a pump like this. Um, all the way up to one quarter of a cup of white vinegar. So a lot of people say, well, if you're using white vinegar, aren't your clothes gonna come out smelling like vinegar? They don't. Um, I also am a person that I've tried many different laundry detergents. Um, I have very, very sensitive skin. And so I, I found a laundry detergent that doesn't mess with my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin in any way. And the surprising thing is, now I use, uh, one more thing to notice, I do use laundry dispensers. Now, one of my favorite um, cleaning resources and everyday household resources is Grove Collaborative. I have a lot of their products, but I got their laundry dispensers because I like to buy my laundry soap in bulk. So over here, this is kind of like my laundry area. This is my dryer sheets, but the funny thing is, I buy the knockoff brand extra laundry soap. As you can see, it's, it's about almost empty now, but and it's pretty light. But when this thing is full, getting this thing up here to dump into my detergent, yeah, not so good. So I invested in the laundry dispensers. I don't have to worry about cleaning the cup. It doesn't get icky and gross with uh, left stick on um, laundry detergent. I just literally fill this up as I need it. Now this brand I get at Walmart. Sometimes I can find them at Costco on sale, but I love this. We love the scent the most. It doesn't irritate my skin. 
and unfortunately it's really, really affordable. So that's the laundry soap that I use. Now with my everyday wear clothes, let me move this here, okay. With my everyday wear clothes, I literally just put in laundry detergent and that's it. Um, and like I had mentioned with the sports or Chris's uniforms, I do about a quarter cup of the out, uh, the odor and stain oxy clean. Now back here, I do have a basket that looks like this. This basket is what I put all of my cleaning cloths in. So I have a very rigorous cleaning schedule and I'll be producing a YouTube video for that shortly, but essentially you should keep all of your house cleaning cloths. And I even put my kitchen towels in here as well. They should all be kept put together because you don't want any type of cross contamination going on. So I have one dedicated space. Now with cleaning towels, I let them build up until I have a pretty big load. I don't want to be washing only four or five towels at a time and wasting um, energy usage on running. Now, I do have, because I have the new Samsung washer and dryer, I have a special feature on my washer. It's called a top washer. I have a washer on top of my washer. This allows me to do much um, smaller loads. I have, I can put in um, detergents or softeners. Now, one thing to mention, if you are using microfiber cloths, and that's pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time what I use to clean my home, microfiber cloths should be washed differently, which is why they're separate. They're separated away just like I separate the rest of my laundry. With my microfiber cloths, you never want to use a softener because softener builds up on the fibers of your microfiber and it can cause them to lose um, and just they feel a little bit sticky after a while. So what, how I clean my microfiber cloths, what I do is I do regular laundry detergent. And for a long time, I was using the Oxy Odor and Stain, but I started doing some reviews because they, they weren't coming out having like that brand new microfiber feel. So I stopped using the Oxy. Now what I do is I do a little bit of laundry detergent a couple pumps of white vinegar, and I use the sanitize function or feature on my washer and dryer. This is going to ensure that it's getting the highest temperatures to make sure that those cleaning cloths are actually really getting cleaned. Um, it's pretty significant high heat using that sanitize function, but that's the one that I end up using to clean my, my cleaning cloths for the house. So that's separated. So for the longest time, I a couple year uh, about a year back, I did some of the reusable products that I'm using in my life to save money, and one of those things was dryer balls. And for the last year or so at my apartment, I was utilizing and using the dryer balls. It cut down on drying time, and I didn't have to use um, sheets, and so I didn't no longer had to use dryer sheets. Now I use just the bounce dryer sheets. Um, especially if I'm doing a smaller load, you can tear these in half um, and make them smaller to make them go further. But I had to switch back to the dryer sheets and here is why. I have GE Samsung washer and dryer. It is really important that you know your washer and dryer. So jump online, look for the manual, user manual for your washer and dryer because here's what I found out it actually was suggested that I don't use the wool dryer balls in the type of tumbler system that I have for my dryer. Um, and so I do go on based on what's recommended. Now it even my user manual, and in fact, let me show you, I have that over here and I've kept it out because my washer and dryers came with user manuals that look like this. And I read through these. Yes, I actually read through these because I wanted to make sure I got the best life and I wanted to make sure that my washer and dryer continued to run properly. And they had a whole section on in here about using OxyClean and the proper way to use OxyClean. So for instance, it told me don't just throw OxyClean in there and then throw your clothes into your front load washer and dryer. 
it suggested putting the clothes in first and then lightly sprinkling, sprinkling the OxyClean on top of the clothes that are already in your drum. So no matter what tips, tricks, or hacks that you are watching or getting information about, you know, utilizing your washer and dryer, it's really important that you read the recommended ways of using those products for whatever washer and dryer you might have. So that's a little bit of how I wash all the different categories of how I organize and sort my laundry. Now let's go talk about folding. So let's talk about my son's laundry very quickly. So I only have one child, so it makes the process pretty simple. When my son is done wearing his clothes for the day before he gets in the bath, he knows to throw all of his dirty laundry into his basket. Now because I only have one son, I do his laundry once a week, every Friday. Every Friday I do his laundry. When it's done and clean, I throw it onto his bed and he knows that on Friday evenings, he's in charge of folding and putting his laundry away. We also have his closet in zones as well. So over here are heavy sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, and then down here, down below, he has his short sleeves. Up here, second one, he has all of his summer clothes. And then down here, he has all of his pajama sets. And then of course, his dresser over here is organized the exact same way. Socks, underwear, shorts, like cloth shorts, like workout shorts, and then all of his different pants. And then we have his jeans up there at the top. Now I put his jeans away just because he has a hard time reaching, but having your kids clothes or even your own closet organized, for me, it helped James know where he needed to put things away. And now he just knows, okay, if I have pants, it goes in the bottom drawer. If I have socks, it goes in the top drawer. So that's how we do and how I handle James's clothes. So when it comes to folding, I actually go through a two-step process. And like I had mentioned earlier in this video, it all has to do with my closet organization. Now, most people, they get a, a pile of clothes of laundry like this and they start folding, right? They start just folding all the different clothes. I don't start folding, I start piling. So what I do is I organize the pile based on the zones I have going on in my closet. So Chris's shorts, pile. Chris's uniform, pile. Socks go in a pile. My, sh my nice shirt, pile. Pajama pants, pile. Okay, running shorts, pile. Socks, my shirt, pile. Okay, black leggings go in a pile. So when I'm done, it looks like this. <laughs> I have kind of piles all over my bed. And then what I do is I grab that pile, like for instance, if I had all my black leggings, let me see if I, I don't have another pair of black leggings in this pile, but usually what happens, and another thing to mention is, I do and I believe in daily laundry. So before I was one of those people that let my laundry accumulate, and then I would spend days on end washing eight loads of laundry and folding eight loads of laundry. I do one uh, thing of laundry, one load of laundry every single day. It helps me stay on top of it piling up and I, it actually saves me time so I'm not spending such huge chunks of my time doing eight loads of laundry at once. But when I do it, I usually have, you know, one or two of my black leggings or if you do fall behind and you have five leggings, I bring that certain pile over to my closet, I fold it, and for me, I do a little bit of the Marie Kondo system, I roll. I don't fold, I roll. So I roll, and I go back to my bed, I, buy, I get the other pile. So how I fold my laundry is I sort into zones first, and then I put away each zone individually. For me, it makes the process a lot easier. Now, there are some days like Chris is short, so he has a couple pairs of shorts. I'll fold in half like this. That way, all I have to do when I'm over at the closet in his zone, all I have to do is roll. Roll. And then I just put those away into that uh, zone and into his certain drawer. 
So that's it. That is really how, I mean, we're a small family of three and this is what really works for us. But it really does come down to closet organization. How I sort my dirty laundry is based on how I wash it. And then I ha this is my system when I'm ready to put it away and I'm folding it and putting it back into my closet zones. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.